Welcome everyone to another episode of the Upshot Project. Welcome to Patagonia! This one's episode is a bit different because we are embarking on this challenging journey that we've been planning for the last six months and by all things nice, we hope to make it. So tomorrow we are going to be trekking for about 12 hours through the wintry weather of Patagonia in Chile. We have little to no experience in these conditions. We don't even have the right gear. Probably not. But at least we have a guide. So hopefully everything works out. <laughs> but before starting this amazing journey, we need to leave the place we are, Puerto Varas. Are you ready? Not really, but um, we paid too much money to back out now. <laughs> Sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> this place was built for tiny German people. So before I get called out, Puerto Varas was one of the towns that was colonized by thousands of Germans back in the mid 1800s. The Chilean government very literally recruited them to help contribute to the country's overall development. This has actually resulted in a wonderfully organized and picturesque lakeside town. Yeah. <laughs> Off to Puerto Natales. No way. So now that we have made it into Puerto Natales, we are on a mission to get Sol some gloves. I need real gloves for tomorrow and I need to repair my sunnies. Should be able to find something. Who's going to be cold and nothing? After a much needed feed. <laughs> Um, we found our gloves, we're going to see some flamingos, I still need some glasses, sunnies, so we'll, go, we'll, we'll see, and it's freaking freezing. Well, there's no flamingos at all, people are lying to us, can't take this anymore, I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we need to go to the supermarket to get some snacks for tomorrow. And I still need my sunnies. Let's go. You, you sound like a weather reporter who hates their job. <laughs> no, it's freaking cold. <laughs> They're cute, but no. our guides and we've only got two more people on this tour so it's gonna be a good day not a private tour but on the most now i need to ask about the weather because apparently according to my maps it's going to be raining all yep. day small probability of rain during the lunch time uh, but it's really soft uh, yeah the temperature is going to be low around three to five uh, degrees we're going to have uh, some snow and ice in some parts it's almost eight and it's pitch black outside sunrise supposed to happen around 10 15. pp stop and national national park, park check they take the national park very seriously the rangers really really intense you don't you don't mess with them. <laughs> to say the very least, it's a bit windy. But 
We're starting in the dark. trip it's raining a lot so unfortunately haven't been able to get the uh, the bigger camera out and unfortunately as well we don't have a GoPro that's it's freaking cool like look at this like there's mountains like everywhere like the quality of my camera can't capture it and it's really upsetting but what a place what a place Regardless of how this ends, I am 100% looking forward to coming back to this part of the world. Exceptional. If you can hear me. It's a bit, a lot rainy, but it's not too cold. And um, I think we should be at the top in like 3 or 4K. Honestly, the hike isn't too bad so far. But we haven't put the crampons on just yet. It's my first snow in like two years. It's nice. I feel home. Light it up, light it up. Ah, light it up, light it up. Well. Well. Ah, light it up, light it up. Ah, light it up, light it up. Well. freezing cold um, I'm sure it is exceptional the soul's down there um, but overall an incredibly uh, fulfilling trip thus far now I have to make it back to the bus hopefully not freezing to death but <sighs> honestly it's so cold <sighs> we're going down literally <laughs> what we're going down. So far, so good, honestly. I feel uh, that, I, that I still have some energy, so that's good. It's not as uh, hard as I thought it would be, but it's beautiful. And even though we couldn't see the towers, I mean, at this point, who cares? We're like, as Hayden said, we are hiking in the middle of nowhere. It's enough for me. Say what? Well. So now things are slightly more relaxed. My hands have warmed up. It's nowhere near as cold as it was at the top, or as windy for that matter, or as snowy. There's a few factors, but what an exceptional day to be alive. I've absolutely loved this. I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm honestly blown away. I just, obviously I wished we were able to see the towers, but, um, Despite that, I've got to say it has been an incredible day. Sol and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, the good thing is Sol said that she enjoyed the trekking, so now I'm kind of hoping to drag her on to a few other ones. Speak of the devil and she Nepal. shall appear. What? Nepal. You want to go to Nepal? Yeah. Okay. It's amazing. Last bridge of the hike 
and then we go back to the hostel. In the next video of this three-part mini-series, the end of the world calls us. But are we ready to answer? Subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook to find out what happens at the most southern major city in the world. I've always wanted a tattoo. It's a lot more nerve-wracking than I thought it was going to be. <laughs>